Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Brady Precision. In this video, we're taking a look at a new offering from Phoenix Contact, and it is the Catan controller. And it's a Niagara 4 based controller. You can see it's got uh, the ability to throw a touchscreen uh, control panel on the front here. Uh, I.O. USB-C, three Ethernet ports, uh, expansion. Expansion uses single-pair Ethernet to make that happen, um, and a whole bunch more. So let's jump in and uh, take a cl closer look now at the controller itself. All right, so we've got the Catan controller family here uh, wired up on a little piece of DIN rail. And just as a general overview of what we're looking at here, on the far left, we have one of uh, Phoenix's Uno power supplies. That's a 24 volt, 60 watt uh, power supply. And that is wired into our Catan controller itself. This is a Niagara based controller sort of along the lines of the ILC line that Phoenix has had for a while now. Uh, you have a lot of those features that were interesting and unique to the ILC are also available to you in the Catan. We're just looking at a uh, newer form factor and uh, something that maybe is a little bit more approachable for our standard uh, building automation needs. And uh, next to that, we have the relay module expansion module which is uh, wired up here next to or into our Catan controller itself and like the uh, Catan controller we have the same uh, layout on the top here with this little panel that flaps open and we have our USB port and some indication lights that USB port is how our uh, control panel is communicating with the controller and IO itself. So this is removable and can be placed on any of the expansion modules or the controller itself. So underneath the hood here, we're looking at the same thing as uh, expansion and the uh, Catan controller itself. Close that up and let's go through what we have available to us um, from a terminal standpoint on the controller itself. So to start, uh, we've got a Ethernet port here. This is actually Ethernet port three. At the very top, we have Ethernet one and Ethernet two. These are um, side facing, so it faces up, and then the third one faces down, obviously, which is why you can't see it uh, very clearly here with my camera angle. Um, and then from there, we go into our actual terminal blocks. Um, you can see they're all labeled with numbers at the very bottom on all of the terminals. And then we have our functional labels, like what they actually do uh, from the top. Phoenix also does have a, a nice little breakout of what each individual uh, point is, uh, what the number is, what it does, and a little bit more description of um, what it's used for. So uh, to start, we've got our ground, our, uh, our functional ground, and then we've got our uh, power input. We have two terminals for this so that we could easily uh, sort of daisy chain our power like we're doing here to our expansion module. So two on the um, positive and two on the ground side. And then we get into our link. Link is actually uh, single pair Ethernet or T1L. And this is right now reserved specifically for communicating with your expansion modules. As you can see here, we have our link one is linked up over here with our expansion module. And that's how the two are communicating. So we've got two of those buses that are available to us. And then from there, we get into our actual I.O. So these points at the bottom are going to be our universal inputs. Uh, we've got, let's see, eight of those on the bottom. And then we come back up to the top. And like I mentioned before, we have our uh, LAN ports there. And then we have uh, what they are calling digital output with digital input functions. So if you see DOI, 
that's what that is referring to. Uh, that's going to be your digital output that you can also configure to be a digital input as well. And then um, down here at the end, we have universal outputs with digital input functionality. So they call them UOIs. Uh, so they're universal outputs. You can use them for whatever you want on that side. And then uh, you can also configure them to be digital inputs as well. Uh, we have at the very top here, KNX, which is a Europe thing. We don't really use that here in the U.S., but that is available to you. And then we have two RS-45 ports. Uh, that's going to be our C1 and our C2 uh, options here at the very top. So that is, uh, in general, what we're looking at on the Catan controller itself. Then if we come over to our um, relay module here, uh, same kind of deal. We've got uh, eight universal inputs here at the bottom, and then we've got six um, relay outputs at the top. One thing to note about the relay outputs is that they do give you uh, bigger uh, terminal blocks uh, for connecting all of your um, devices that you need to. The other thing that's probably worth noting is that all of these terminal blocks, as you probably already have noticed, they are using the um, push-in technology from Phoenix Contact. So, uh, when you're going to push in stranded wire, you may need to uh, press in the little white button at the top when you go to press in that wire, and then it'll um, clamp down once you release on the wire itself. So that is a uh, quick look at the Phoenix Contact Catan controllers and uh, the expansion modules. All right, so that's a quick overview look at the new Phoenix Contact Catan controllers. Uh, they are available now, so if you're interested, uh, please feel free to reach out to us here at Brody Precision and check us out at store.brodyprecision.com or just brodyprecision.com. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or things that you'd like to see more of, we will definitely be doing more content on the controller. Uh, as you may have noticed, we didn't even power it up yet, so you don't even know what this... Uh, control panel looks like from a user interface standpoint or anything like that. We will be covering that in more detail here in the future, so stick around for that. But if there is anything in particular that you want to see, feel free to leave that down below in the comments. Thanks as always for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.